What would you call this PBO? Well, we have a G perm on top and an A perm on bottom, and this one appears to be a GC, I'm pretty sure, but the bottom, um, it kind of looks like an AB perm, maybe, but if you flip it over, it technically changes or something. I've been doing square one for three years, and I still have no idea what I would call this in the normal naming system. But what if I told you there's a system that can make this super easy and intuitive, basically zero learning, and is super easy to communicate and understand? Well, I introduce to you Maka Naming. Maka Naming is a PBL naming system created by Stepan Makarenko that uses intuitive visual cues to name every PLL that has like a different mirror, such as U perms, J perms, A perms, R perms, G perms, etc. So, for example, in Maka Naming, we would see we have G perm. The block is adjacent on the right and so it would be called jar with the a standing for adjacent to the headlights and the r standing for on the right when the headlights are in the back and for the a perm here we wouldn't have to figure out which way the corners are going or what it would be like if it was flipped we simply see that when the headlights are in the back the block is on the left so this is a l for left so in maka naming we would call this jar a l maka naming is pretty much exactly the same as what you're used to the only things that change are the cases that have multiple mirrors so let's just start going through all the relevant maka naming cases and as i explain each case you'll realize how intuitive maka naming is and why you should be using it an important rule of thumb for maka naming is that for cases with headlights the names are based off of when the headlights are in the back and i'll show you an example in a bit Starting with U perms, this would be called UL because the edges are going to the left and the opposite headlight is on the left. So this is UL, UL. It doesn't change whether it's on the top or the bottom. It looks the same, so it's the same case. And here would be UR because the edges are going to the right and the opposite headlight is on the right. The other EPLL that Maka Naming helps with is O perms. So this would be called OR because the edges are going to the right. This would be called OL, OL because the edges are going to the left. Next up is JA, and in Maka Naming, A stands for aligned, whether it's on the top or the bottom layer. So here, this is JA, JA, because the blocks are preserved when you align the layer. And here's JM, with the M standing for misaligned, so this is JM, JM. Next up is APRMS, and this is called AR, because the block is on the right side when the headlights are in the back. Similarly, this would be called AL, AL, because the block is on the left when the headlights are in the back. Next up are R perms, and of course, we base it off of the headlights in the back. And here, the block, like this 2x1 block, is on the right, so this is RR. And here, of course, is RL because when we put the headlights in the back, the block is on the left. So RL and this is RL. Next up are B perms. So this is BA for aligned. This is BM because in order to preserve the blocks, you have to misalign. D perms are very similar. This is DA because you have to align the layers to preserve the blocks. And of course, this is DM because you have to misalign like this. K perms are the exact same. This is KA, KA. Here's KM because the blocks are misaligned. All right, those are all super similar, but now we're back to cases that are L or R. So this is PR because when the headlights are in the back, this two by two block is on the right. So we have PR, PR, doesn't matter which layer it's on. If the block is on the right, it's PR. Similarly, here is PL because the block is on the left when the headlights are in the back. All right, now for C perms, this one is probably the trickiest just because it's hard to recognize in general, but basically you're gonna look for the pseudo G block. So these two opposite stickers that are not connected to the headlights. You use the pseudo block for 2CP a lot and it's the same block. So if this pseudo block is on the right, then this is CR, and if the pseudo block is on the left when the headlights are in the back, then it's CL, regardless of which layer it's on. End perms are super easy because it's just the alignment, so these are both aligned end perms, so this is NA and this is NA. These end perms are misaligned, so this is NM and this is NM, so NM, NM. S perms are based off of alignment, so these are aligned, so this is SA, SA, and then this is SM, SM. All right, G perms are probably the most confusing because they're confusing in general, but in Maka naming, they have two letters after the G. The first letter is either A or O, and the A stands for adjacent, which means the block is adjacent to the headlights. And O stands for opposite, when the block is opposite of the headlights, or when the sticker in the middle of the headlights is opposite, just like this. So since this one is adjacent to the headlights and it's on the right, this would be G-A-R. This would be G-A-R, or JAR for short. For this one, we would normally call this like G-A-G-C, which is kind of confusing. But in Maka notation, since the block is on the left and adjacent to the headlights, this would be G-A-L, or JAL. Now here, this would normally be like G-B-G-D, I think. But for Maka notation, the block is opposite of the headlights, and it's on the right. So this would be G-O-R, or JOR. So this would be JOR, JOR. And then last G perm, the block is opposite of the headlights and it's on the left. So this is G-O-L or JOL. Finally, here are a few quick examples to make sure you understand Maka naming. 
So here we have a B and a D. This B is misaligned, so it's BM, and this D is misaligned, so it's DM, so we have BM, DM. Here we have a C perm and a K perm. Here the pseudo G block is on the left, so this is CL, and here the K is aligned, so it's KA, so we have CL, KA. Here we have a JR, but which one? Well, the J is misaligned, so it's JM, and here the R, the block is on the left, so it's RL, so we have JM, RL. Now we have an S on top and an O on bottom. Well, the S is misaligned, so it's SM, and for the O perm, the edges are going to the left, so it's OL, so now we have SMOL. Here we have a GU. This G is opposite and on the right, so it's JOR, and this is UL because the edges are going to the left and the opposite headlights are on the left, so this is JOR UL. Finally, we have an AG, and here the A block is on the left when the headlights are in the back, so this is AL, and here, we have another JOR as you may recognize because the block is opposite of the headlights and it's on the right, so we have AL JOR. So I hope you like Maka naming and I hope you find it useful and maybe switch to it. It's pretty simple and if you want a document that has all of this laid out so you can see it at once, then I have linked a sheet in the description. But I hope you found this useful and let me know what you think and thanks for watching.